Atkins, it is I, Stray Cat, one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Tomb Raider. This is the Square Enix version where they broke down Laura Croft's character to rebuild her back up into the legend she's known as, you know, before this. <laughs> um, and I figured I'd get a little bit of a game going to figure out how the controls and how the beginning would work, but it's not really that difficult, I think. I'm just going to put it on easy so that a way we can get through the story. Once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. That was her I father, finally wasn't it? set out to make my mark. Said that? To find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. As it usually does. I figure I'd leave in the uh, whole intro for this. So, uh, enjoy. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us Swiped there by a mysterious figure. Sounds of like something heavy being dragged. Is that a comment on the way? That's not right. I turned on the subtitles for this because I figured it might help. I did not realize they're basically closed captioning. <laughs> Sorry. Um, although some of you might know that. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Anyway, I, I played through this beginning intro sequence, and it'll probably take up the majority of the episode. So, there we go. Yep. That, that's, that's a typical Sunday. Jeez. She got some ick all over her. Alright. And, of course, gonna try and struggle to get out of this. See if there's any weakness, and of course there's not. Motherfucker tied it tight. Help! Gotta get some momentum going. Ryan! Try and knock this into the fire. Help! And Got to get, down. get this going to fire. Yeah, there it goes. Little... Whoa, that was a skeleton in there. That's not good. Okay. Fire. Means I can cut the rope with it, and essentially the binding. This, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're really not wrong there. There we go. Pretty much. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Hey, let's get here. It's a flesh wound. It's not into an organ, but 
God damn. That just looks painful. And, yeah, that would probably hurt that much. Jesus. Okay. God damn. Yep, tripping over bones. There's a lot of them down here. Seems like cannibals. Oh god. No. 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 That's that's something. What is this place? Oh god. What happened to you? Nothing good, that's for sure. What is that behind her? Is that part of the uh, archaeological reason why she was here? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, the, torch. the torch. I always pass by the torch. <laughs> Like, torches, not useful to me. Uh-oh. Just set these ablaze, walk away, and it just burns them away. And then they magically disappear. Uh, we'll just we'll just chalk that up to Square Enix magic, you know. Oh, we must have heard me. Fuck. Uh, we'll get through here. God damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> My words exactly, Laura. Okay, let's turn this torch back on. Turn it back on. Just light it back on fire. I like it. And, yeah, I didn't really show it much, but, uh, this is actually what we should be doing. That's a survival instinct kicking in. And it basically shows you what you need to do to survive the next phase if you're ever stuck. Uh, this was free on Xbox Live Gold Members. I think it was the first half of last month. Uh, I hadn't really gotten a chance to be able to record it until now, so sorry. Uh oh, let's get out through here before that rock. Oh shit! You go back. Yeah, bullshit. Bullshit. Come on. Now we'll get out of here. Oh, this is going to be difficult to get through. Okay. Floor took a bit of a dip there, so now it's just doing water. Keep the torch up. Let's not lose that. And I don't... And I know what some people are thinking, that that flame will not superheat the rock. It's barely enough to superheat the rock, trust me. So, she can do her hand up here. Fine. There's a torch down there. Need to find a way out. More fire. Thank God. Fire, and those look like explosive devices behind me. So... Gotta find a way to get there, but my torch will go out. And if I even use the torch, it would kill me anyway. So. What kind of contraption is this? Uh, yeah, you use these. Get these going. Drop all this water stuff out of here. Basically, collect all these together. First, set them on fire. Like the whole little group of fireball to uh, collect up. Oh, got it. Okay. Let them collect up a little more. Is that two more fire? So it's more of a big scoop. And I'm saying this because I know what's going to happen. Uh, run up. There we go. I'm gonna let my weight pick it up a little bit drop it in there. Got one drop. Not great. Still enough though. Still enough. That's all we needed. Now we walk over here. Yeah, that, that move does not look good. Hopefully we can get picked up. That would just be infected. And we go right around the little waterfall. And make I've got to get out of here. Yep, that'll do, that'll do. Come on. Ooh, I got experience. I wonder what that's going to be. The quake to be later in the game.
help you. And there goes his head. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ah, I couldn't even get to, to grab the box there. Whew. That did not feel good. Oh, I'm cleaned up of the gick from this rain. That's good. That's good. It'll keep me from getting that wound infected. The last thing we need. Oh, nice little shelter here. That's good. Crouch down. There we go. Oh yeah, she is probably cold. With all this rain and whatnot. Looks abandoned. There you go. There you go. Get some water in you. Now, next step. Probably be getting that fire going. Nope. Four. Check in on friends. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Nope. That is nothing. No one stopping. I'll get that fire going. Find some dry brush or something. That'll be hard in this rain. There we go. Alright, here we go. And one last match. Jeez. That's bad luck. But, hopefully if it works, it works. Alright. That, I'm gonna chalk that up to Square Enix Magic, because fires don't start that easily. They do not. I've done that plenty of times with dry brush. That did not happen. It is pretty quick, but not that quick. Alright. And of course, gotta look at the camera. The last few moments shared on the ship before everything went to shit. And went to kablooey. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. Sam, <laughs> yes, um, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. 1080i. I'm just trying to lighten the mood like here. Everyone's the so there. on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even oh, if they I, should. I just Lara, noticed in the corner. You know there. this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. Notice in the corner there is the time for the tape. Serious, you know? we'll, uh, slowly wind down. How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 <laughs> years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly <laughs> into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about <laughs> Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this point. is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. Who? Oh. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? 
for your reputation, I assume. Because it apparently means so much to you. Ooh. Need to up it with another fucking find, jackass. All right, rain stopped. That's good. And I can't just sit here. Yeah. Woman versus I've wild. Got to find something to I eat. like that. I like that. Um, actually, we're a little bit over time, so we're going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.